Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, Bishop Rich Thomas here, Redemption Apostolic International Network. Let's move this a little bit. Uh, I got a lot of things I got to do today. I meant to get to this a little bit yesterday, and the uh, Holy Ghost just uh, took me in a whole other direction. What I'm trying to point out to you, simple, is don't be deceived about this Islam thing, that this is some kind of peaceful religion. While there may be some Muslims that don't follow, f fully follow all the teachings of the Quran, the Hadith, etc., the Surahs, etc., uh, it's very easy for them to be persuaded to do that. And there's enough of them that do, that that is the present danger in this world. So the two main dangerous things to the church, as I see it, let me just turn this down. I think this is coming up already. The two main da most dangerous things that I see coming to the church are, number one, Islam, uh, mostly through the deception of that they say there is one God, and also the Jew says there is one God, and really the Christian says there is one God. But what we have to understand, Islam renounces the Trinity or the Godhead. Of course, the Jewish faith does not, most of them do not believe that who, who Jesus is, who the Gentiles call Jesus. But there are Messianic believers and Messianic synagogues and Messianic churches. And in the name of, mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, eyes will be opened in these days and many Jews will come in in Jesus' mighty name. Now, because he is the Lord, Yahweh. Now, get on to Islam. Big danger. Now, we're hearing, and the politicians in America and around the world are all talking about that these people are not violent. Uh, people, put, put, do, do a Google alert on uh, Islam, Islamic radicalism or whatever, and watch the reports come in. Who? They're, they're killing Jews. They're killing Christians. They're killing all kinds of innocent people. So they're trying to twist it in like it's this uh, colonialism, Wild West, and trying to blow all these people up. But the bottom line, this is the conflict of our day. This is the evil conflict of our day. And uh, for me, I believe there's a lot of evidence to show that Islam will present the Antichrist. Indisputable is that the one who represents himself as Allah in the Islamic teachings is none other than Satan. It's indisputable. If you believe what God reveals about the devil, the accuser, the slanderer, the blasphemer, the deceiver, the one who comes to kill, steal, destroy, the father of lies, if you believe the revelation of what the Bible says about Satan, God's arch enemy, that covering cherubim, that fallen angel called Lucifer, but then he fell and was given the name Satan. If you believe the Bible revelation about it, it's very easy for you to see that Allah is Satan. And therefore, Muhammad is a false prophet. Now, what I really want to touch on on this, and I'm only going to do a little bit, I have a booklet here, just to show you a little bit, done by a brother, I, I believe he's Egyptian believer, who gave us out of the Quran the, what the Arabic actually says. So I have pages here of what the teaching of Islam says that they're supposed to do. Pages, people, pages, pages. You understand? Pages of writings of the Quran. And let me just go a little bit farther. Pages of the writings of Quran that instruct the true believers in Muhammad, in Allah, to go out and do violence against the infidels, those that don't believe what they believe, and bring them into Islam, which means into submission or domination, to cause them to submit. Now, more? Okay? More? I mean, how much evidence do we need? And then he explains more and explains more. How much evidence do we need 
to stop being accepting the lies and being deceived because when we accept the lie we come under the deception the lies and the deception about the Muslim faith or Islam true not every Muslim will practice every bit of this just like all Christians don't practice everything that Jesus says or all Jews don't practice everything in the law because ultimately God says what he says and ultimately it's up to man to see it learn it take it in and act upon it and everybody just doesn't act on every word that God has instructed now I'll give an example Christians are told you've received power to be his witness how many Christians actually witness about God hmm not that not 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 all of them right all right now just by way of example so I'm gonna just start on this and I'm gonna do this probably I don't want to make it too long I'm not gonna to try to read your whole thing but let me give you one two three four five I'm gonna give you the first page six examples six examples verses in the Quran that teach violence Quran uh, 2 191 through 193 and kill them wherever you find them and get them out from where they got you out and the sedition is worse than the killing and do not engage in war with them at the forbidden mosque until they engage in war with you in it so if they engage in war with you so kill them likewise is the reward of the infidel anybody who does not believe in Islam anybody who does not confess that Allah is the one God and that Muhammad is his messenger that is their confession of faith I believe that's a the mark in any way you want to look at it is a badge of allegiance and because Allah is Satan basically people are bowing to Satan if you bow to Satan you're not bowed to God are you if you bow to Satan then you cannot be bowed to Jesus if you bow to Satan then you cannot belong to Jesus Jesus never bows to Satan. Now, the true believer in Jesus is the temple of the Holy Spirit. God the Spirit lives in him. In the life of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, a life-giving spirit, has come inside of their spirit, made them alive to God. Amen? So Jesus is in them. And Jesus said, if you obey my words, I'll go tell my Father, here we go. We have a new home. They're obedient to us, and the Father will come and make his home too. So the Godhead lives inside the temple of the person who has professed Jesus as Lord and Savior. Amen. A new creation. Born of God. Amen. Now, if that person goes around and bows down to Allah, then they're bowing to Satan. In essence, in the temple, they are forcing the Godhead to bow. Well, the Godhead never really bows, but I want you to get the picture. By your deception by you believing the lies and you're bowing to it so this is really what they've done in the, a common word together which is a Quranic instruction how to approach and invite for everybody to bow to Allah a common word together comes out of the Quran it's a direct quote of a way means of inviting the infidels and you have this big response from the Christian community, so-called Christian community, uh, they're the whores, they're the whore church, there's a true and false church, maybe they did it in ignorance, they can repent, but if they understood what they were doing and did it, they're lost and damned forever, because they've taken the mark of the beast, where they pray and ask forgiveness of the all-merciful one, which is Allah, according to the common word together. As a means of peace, well, yes, blessed are the peacemakers, but you can't make peace with the devil. And you don't make peace with error. We are not supposed to even allow error in our house. If anybody comes even to your house and even brings another message other than the doctrine of Christ, don't wish them Godspeed. Don't bless their work. Don't assist their work. Don't even say, God be with you. God bless you. Hello. That's John the Apostle. Amen. First epistle of John. Second epistle of John. Third epistle of John. He had a lot to say not only about love amen but in the context of loving God 
loving man in that context about not submitting to the Antichrist, about how the Antichrist would operate. He would cause people to denounce the Son and denounce the Father. How is that denouncing the Father? Simple, because God the Father gave testimony of His Son. This is my beloved Son, hear ye Him. That God sent His only begotten Son. That's, that's the testimony. Islam says God, Allah has no Son. Allah, there is no begotten. There is no Lord but Allah. Do you understand? Allah is Satan. He's blaspheming. And when that comes into Jerusalem and comes into the holy place, that's what the speech is against heaven. He's denouncing the Godhead. He's saying he's all it. Come on, people. Wake up in Jesus' mighty name. So there we go. There's one witness. Here's Koran. So uh, the last part of this verse, 193, and engage in war with them until there be no sedition. Engage in war with them until there be no sedition or no more rebellion. Engage in war with them until there be no sedition and the religion be to Allah. In other words, until there's no more rebellion and all have been brought into submission to Allah. Do you see, this is exactly what the Bible teaches us God the Father is doing in the Lord Jesus Christ. That, that he's bringing the gospel to all nations. Then he's turning back and he's going to, through, through the chastening... Jew, some some Jews, a remnant, will believe in the Lord Jesus. They rejected the first time around that God's purpose would be accomplished. He'll have mercy on them. And that God will destroy all of his enemies. And nothing will be left except for the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the end, Jesus will judge nations, separating them as sheep, sheep from goats. Amen? Goats will be thrown into the fire and sheep will come into the everlasting kingdom. Jesus, as the King of kings and Lord of lords, will rule and reign upon the earth from Jerusalem, and then taking the throne, the, everla the throne for an everlasting covenant with David, the everlasting blessing of the king after David would be upon his throne forever, his seed. Amen. Jesus, the seed of David, Jesus, who the Gentiles say, Jesus, the seed of Abraham. Amen. And in his seed all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Amen. And in his name will the Gentiles trust, the Jewish prophet said, and his fame will go out to the ends of the earth, as the scripture says. So Satan is trying to be a copycat. So again, let's say that, and engage in war with them. That's what they call jihad. That's the war aspect of jihad, but there's other forms of jihad. We're looking at the violent form of Islamic expansion and engage in war with them until there is no sedition and the religion be to Allah so they desist so there will be no transgression except on the unjust. You cannot come into Allah and believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You cannot come into Allah and believe that Jesus died. They say he never died. That Jesus was crucified. They say he was never crucified. You cannot believe in Allah and say that Jesus is the begotten of God. They say God has no begotten. You cannot believe in Jesus and say Jesus is Lord, which our Bible says no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit of God. They say there is no Lord but Jesus. If you don't understand that this is the blasphemous thing, this is the blasphemous thing in the earth, and it's expanding through all the places that the gospel of Christ went out first, and even all the other places throughout the earth, which can very easily create a worldwide havoc when they make their final step, and they're not trying to deceive anymore and try to do it by force, this can definitely create havoc all over the world. They're in probably every country in the world pretty close to it. And they have many, many countries already. So we look at it as a name of a country, but they look at it as the religion that controls the country. Now let's go on. I don't want to make this too long. Quran, uh, this would be uh, 2 and uh, number 154. And do not say of those who are killed for the sake of Allah dead, yet they are alive. 
but you do not feel. Quran 2, 118. Surely those who believe and those who immigrated, you hear that? Those who believe and those who immigrated and performed jihad for the sake of Allah, see immigration into the countries that are not Islamic controlled as part of the jihad. They have immigrated all over Europe and by population without even force, they will have taken it over shortly. There are whole sections of France and other countries now where the police and the rest of emergency people will not go even go in. Wake up, America. They're working here. You have turned America to pagan gods. You permitted pagan gods. You've thrown the one true living God out, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, out of your schools, out of your public arenas, out of your morality. You do whatever you want. You're like sheep that have gone astray. Each of you has turned to your own way. And it's like any self-indulgent, lustful thing goes. God have mercy on America. Grant us repentance in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Repent, America. And they are here and working. Different forms of jihad. But the violent jihad will come. I'm going to say again. The violent jihad will come to America. They will not be stopped without violent jihad in America. They will strike when the time is right for them. You better wake up. You better be prepared because it's coming, it's chastening, and it's punishment for us serving other gods. These are the same people of the Isaiah 11, Isaiah 9 judgment. Get, check out the harbinger, the rabbi, got a revelation from God. It is the exact parallel what America's going through with the exact parallel with signs and tokens from God that this is where we are so that we'll wake up and turn to Him quickly. The sooner we turn back, the less the death and damage will be. And it's, it's called The Harbinger. You can look on YouTube. You can look online. There's The book is available. The DVD is available. Multitude of parallels, multitude of signs and tokens that were in the judgment of God. And God sent the Assyrians to Israel when it turned its back on God. There were certain things they did as their answer, all in their flesh, in the arm of their own flesh, not realizing that God had taken the covering off because they were not serving Him. So is it with America now. We turned our back on God. He took the covering off. And the very leaders of this nation have spoken out of their mouth these very judgments and have acted. And these very signs and tokens, this pathway to destruction. Now, let's look at some more. Quran. Again, Quran 2, 118. Surely those who believed and those who immigrated and performed jihad for the sake of Allah, though who, those hope for Allah's mercy, and Allah is forgiving and merciful. What's it saying? You can have forgiveness of sins here if you emigrate and do jihad. Right? You can have mercy from Allah if you go in and you kill, kill these other people. Right? With no feeling. Just kill them. Right? You can have mercy from Allah if you engage in war right till you put down all the rebellion and convert everybody to the religion of Allah this is what they're being taught people Quran 2 Quran 2 verse 244 and engage in war for the sake of Allah and know that Allah is hearing and knowing you want Allah to hear you and know you then engage with war for Allah war war jihad war violence kill for Allah Quran 3 and 28. Believers do not take infidels for friends. You know who's the infidel? Anybody who's not Islamic. But especially Jews. They, they say the Jews have a corrupted book and the Christians have the most corrupt book and they say in the teaching, in the Quranic teaching, that the ones who believe in the Trinity, the Godhead as the Father, God, the Son, God, and the Holy Spirit, God, that they are the greatest transgressors and blasphemers out of the whole bunch that that is the most grievous sin that one can commit 
Is it any wonder why they want to cut your head off? Why they might tell you to convert to Islam and when you don't, when you say no because it's Satan and you're not going to bow to Satan, you're not going to confess with your mouth that Allah is the one God and that Muhammad is his apostle, that you hold to your confession that God is your Father, Jesus is your Savior, your Lord, that you believe that he died and was crucified and suffered for you and rose again from the dead to justify you, that when you hold to that confession of faith, is it any wonder they want to cut your head off? But you shall receive power to be my witness. Amen? And the root of witness, the word witness, is martyr. In other words, we can live a dead life, live for God in this life, no matter how hard, no matter the sacrifice, and if it comes to it, that we could lose our head, or our blood can be spilled out, life's blood, and find ourselves with Jesus under the altar as a martyr, waiting for the day of his vengeance, which, beloved, is coming. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, let the light shine. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, open their eyes, Lord. So, Quran, again, 3 and 28, believers do not take infidels for friends. Believers do not take infidels for friends, rather than the believers, in other words, the Islamis. Whoever does this, so he has nothing to do with Allah. Being friendly with a Jew, being friendly with a Christian, being friendly with someone outside of Islam, right? He has nothing to do with Allah. He's a renounced Allah, that's what they're saying. But that you should guard yourself from them, your fear of him, of Allah, and Allah himself warns you, and to Allah is the return. In other words, Allah is going to judge you for it. Quran 3 and 56, and this will conclude the examples. Quran 356. So as for those who became infidels, that means non-Islams, so I will torment them with a severe torment in this world and in the hereafter. Right? So he's saying that the infidels, he's going to torment them with severe torment in this world and the hereafter. Now, do you see why they might think they're doing God a service when they persecute you, even put you to death? Remember what Jesus said in Matthew 24, why they might think they're doing God a service, persecuting you, giving you tribulation, even putting some of you to death? Again, Quran 3 and 56 so as for those who became infidels, so I will torment them with a severe torment in this world, and he and here and here and in the hereafter, and they will have no helpers to give them the victory. We will have helpers, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The fullness of the Godhead is being brought to bear about this. But this is going to come to chasten the infidels, the unbelievers. Those that war against God Almighty, this will come to bring a, a delusion, a lie, a delusion upon those that don't believe. And Jesus Christ will manifest from heaven in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not, who haven't heard, do not believe, and on those who do not obey the gospel. First Thessalonians chapter one. Amen. Amen. In 2 Thessalonians, or is that 2 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, right? We're not to be moved by anything because first of all there has to be a great falling away and then the lawless one can be revealed, the son of perdition, the Antichrist. We are in the falling away. We have people leaving the faith in Jesus for Islam now. They're taking a mark by covenanting with the imams that have sent a letter, right, saying, turn to us now, otherwise we're going to be cutting your head off. Now, they don't say cut your head off in the letter, but that is the instruction in the Quran. Come, let us take a common word together. In other words, come into a contract. Come into an agreement. Let's come into a covenant. And these people, excuse me, like Rick Warren and the rest, just marched right into this. And they signed this document and they wrote a response and they asked Allah to forgive them.
for fighting back in the Crusades and fighting back around the world against the expansion of Islamic radicalism. As I said, every Muslim doesn't do everything that he finds in the Quran, but in the Quran it also says, did it all come from Allah? And they have to say, yes, it all came from Allah. If they don't, they're a blasphemer. So they have to say it all came from Allah. And then on top of that it says, so it's the word of Allah, right? And we are to obey the word of Allah? And of course they have to say, yes. All the Quran, all this teaching came from Allah. And we have to obey the word of Allah? Yeah, we have to obey the word of Allah. Then they say to them, then you have to obey this word too. That's how they convert them. That's how they convert even other Muslims to the radical Islam, which is not radical, but I'm just saying that for your help. It's simply what they teach. Now, I gave you the first page. That's all, just this page. Here's all the other witnesses that tell you this is what they're supposed to be doing according to the teaching of the Quran. And you wonder why some people that know this burn it? The Quran is a blasphemous book. And so, yeah, you know, they burn it and it incites the flesh of these demonized people that blindly follow Satan through Quranic teachings. I know people are going to hate me for it, and people may even try to do violence, may even try to kill me for what I'm saying, but you know what? I'm a servant of the Most High God, and nobody can touch me in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus unless my Father says you can. But other than that, you can't do anything. Thank you, Lord, for the Spirit. Amen. Of might. Amen. The Spirit of wisdom and the spirit of might. Hallelujah, in the favor of the Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. This has been Bishop Rich Thomas. You can check our website, RainOutreachTV.com. RainOutreachTV.com. Go over, you can hear a lot of other people speaking on this. Um, you know, we're spending the money to make an effort to get you videos that will give you other insights on this, other people speaking on this, other people teaching about this. Awaken America in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Awaken to your roots. Awaken to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Turn back. Turn back before you perish as a people. In the mighty name of Jesus, stop allowing yourself to be lied to and deceived. Take practical action. Spread the truth. Spread it through social bookmarking, Facebook, Twitter, any avenues. Spread it by printing pages and giving to your neighbors. Send the link to the people that are teaching on this and let people know what's going on. Let it go viral. Let it sweep. Amen? Pray. Pray that your nation turn back to God. Pray that the eyes be open. Pray that eyes be open around the world. Stop being deceived. Amen? Pray that we turn back to God. Amen? Pray that we obey the Word and operate in God's Word and do what God says so that God can relent and leave a blessing instead of a judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your eyes be open, and your ears open and hear. In Jesus' name, let your heart be attentive. Study to show yourself approved. A worker to God doesn't need to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Be like the Bereans, noble, who received the word and went and studied it out for themselves to make sure that the things spoken were true, were so. So be blessed, Bishop Rich Thomas. Until next time.